We're gathered today to hear directly from the American victims of illegal immigration. You know, you hear the other side. You never hear this side. You don't know what's going on. These are the American citizens permanently separated from their loved ones. The word permanently being the word that you have to think about, permanently. They're not separated for a day or two days. They are permanently separated because they were killed by criminal illegal aliens. These are the families the media ignores. They don't talk about them. Very unfair. We have to look at everybody, but this is a very unfair situation. These are the stories that Democrats and people that are weak on immigration, they don't want to discuss, they don't want to hear, they don't want to see, they don't want to talk about. No major network sent cameras to their homes or displayed the images of their incredible loved ones across the nightly news. They don't do that. They don't talk about the death and destruction caused by people that shouldn't be here, people that will continuously get into trouble and do bad things. For years, their pain was met with silence. Their plight was met with indifference, but no more. I told them three years ago, when we were together, day one, just about day one, I would say, I said, I hear you, I see you, and I will never let you down. And we've been working together, and uh, their loved ones have not died in vain. We call these brave Americans the angel families, angel moms, angel pops. These are the angel families. Your loss will not have been in vain. We will secure our borders, and we will make sure that they're properly taken care of. Eventually, the word will get out. We've got to have a safe country. We're going to have a safe country. They were released back into our civilian population. And these gentlemen had to do some of the releasing, and I don't think you were too happy when you knew, because you knew. They know better than anybody. You knew what you were releasing. You knew it was trouble, and it often comes back to be trouble. Where is the media outrage over the catch-and-release policies that allow deadly drugs to pour into our country? Where is the condemnation of the Democrat sanctuary cities that release violent criminals into our communities and then protect them? like the mayor of San Diego when she warned everybody that ICE is coming and they scattered.